today is my favorite day he made it a special day i love tomorrow yesterday but today is my favorite day i hope it's your favorite day do do you like today it's your teacher annunciata welcome to easy limo learning simplified wow writing time telling time we've done time time and again and here we are again we want to write time do you remember we said when you look at the clock face that clock face has 12 numbers and each of these number represents 5 minutes from here to here this is 5 minutes from here to here gives you another 5 minutes so they'll go like that 15 20 25 then you have 30 35 40 45 50 55 and then we go to 60 and that's why we say an hour makes 60 minutes so our clock face is divided into four main things when you look at this this is a full orange and if i happen to cut it into two equal parts i'll make this as a half so anytime the long hand is at 30 it means it is half past what if i share the orange into four equal parts so anytime we are now at 15 or 45 we're talking about quarter and this one is also quarter. But now, what determines if it's quarter to or quarter past? We're talking about quarter past when it's at 15 and quarter to when it is at, at 45. What do we mean? Anytime you're on this side, we are saying we have just passed some 15 minutes to the, to the time. But here we are remaining with 15 minutes to the o'clock time from o'clock to 15 we are saying that is quarter past we have passed the the 60 the the o'clock to another number but anytime we are on 45 you're saying we're remaining with 15 minutes to o'clock so that is not the case today we want to talk about writing time and time do you remember last lesson what you talked about time we said our time can be written in two ways. Who can remind me the two ways? Yes, Janet. We are talking about the analog clock face. This one is an analog clock face. And we are talking about the digital clock face. The digital clock face. What do we mean by the analog and the digital clock face? The analog clock face is where we have the two hands. The short hand representing the hour hand and the long hand representing the minute hand. So anytime my, <coughs> my long hand is on 12 and my short hand is on 6. Who can tell me what is the time? Yes, Oscar. The time is 6 o'clock six o'clock anytime my short hand is on nine and my long hand is still on 12 the time is nine o'clock anytime i am my long hand is still on 12 my short hand is on two what is the time the time is two o'clock Now, what if I'm told to write the same same time into the digital way? What if I'm told to write the same same time into the digital way? The digital one is the one that has the two dots at the middle. And the o'clock in the digital clock face is represented by zero, zero. So, for example, I've been told indicate six o'clock on the digital clock face. Show us six o'clock on the digital clock face. 
let's see let's see i've been told to indicate six o'clock on the digital clock face how will it be like so we have said o'clock is represented by zero zero on the digital clock face and then i now write the hour which is six so on the digital clock face my six o'clock will look like this six zero zero hours when i'm told to represent nine o'clock on the same digital clock face nine o'clock what happens the hour hand the the hour hand remains the same as nine and then o'clock is represented as zero zero on the digital clock face so nine o'clock analog manner digital way nine o'clock is written as nine zero zero what of two o'clock in the digital clock face the same the hour hand represents two then the minute hand which is the o'clock will be represented by zero zero so it is as simple as that as easy as that don't be confused now that i've been told to write this time in analog or in digital clock face how am i supposed to do it it will not give you trouble at any point it will not give you trouble in any way so if for example i've been given a clock face and they've told me draw a clock face showing draw a clock face showing five o'clock <coughs> so i'm told draw a clock face we've said the minute hand will always remain at 12 and then the hour hand will be pointing at five o'clock now what if i'm told to show the same time in the digital clock face i'll come and draw the digital clock face then i say the hour hand represents it is still represented by five then the o'clock will be zero zero now young boys and girls if right now i tell you to write this time in digital clock face are you able to write time in digital clock face yes it's as simple as that now when you're now told to write the time in the using the half past and the half past the quarter past the quarter two in the digital clock face the numbers that are represented here are the numbers that will be represented on the side where we have a zero zero for example we have said here we have 60 which is always represented by zero zero o'clock then for half past we are saying it is represented for quarter past it is represented by 15 okay 5 10 15 then we have 20 25 30 which means 30 represents half past then 35 40 45 9 is represented by 45 so if i'm told my long hand is at my short hand is has just passed four a little bit four and then my short my long hand is on three what is the time who can tell me who can read for us this time if my long hand is there and my short hand is there so we are talking about half past not half past quarter past four so it's just 15 minutes past four so in the analog clock face i'll write quarter past four now what if i'm told to write the same same time in the digital clock face i'll just take my hour hand has just passed four a little bit so it still remain four then when we are on the quarter past we're talking about 15 so this is what it means by quarter past four what if i'm told to write the same same time but now 
The long hand is at 6 and the short hand is between 7 and 8. We are saying when the long hand is pointing at 6, it means it is half. It means it is half. So what is the time? Half past half past it has passed seven so we're talking about half past seven what if i'm told to represent the same same number using the digital clock face i'll still use my hour hand which is seven then we're talking about half past represented by how many by 30. so that one in the digital clock face is 7 30. in the analog clock face it will be half past seven the same way if I'm told to write, yes, we talked about 45 representing quarter two. 45 representing quarter two. Someone was asking, when do we know that this one is past and this one is two? When you look at the alphabets, look at the alphabet. Look at sound P. Are you seeing letter P? Letter P comes first in the alphabet than Q, than T. So what happens here is the past comes first before the T. So when I'm talking about past, past is 15. Why? Our clock face moves in the clockwise manner. Clockwise manner. We don't go, this is anti-clockwise and this is clockwise. So our clock face normally moves in the clockwise manner. So we are going like this. So when you're moving the clockwise manner, we'll come to P, then we go to Q, T, P, Q, R, S, T. So that's a past comes first, then the two comes the second. I hope you have now learned something new there. So when you're talking about quarter two, my long hand is at nine and my short hand is just next to 11. That one represents quarter two. 11. We are heading to, we are walking towards, not behind. So we are reading using the hour hand that is in front of us. So what happens here is you're coming to take the hour, which is 11. And then we are talking about quarter two represented by 45 minutes. And that is exactly what will happen. This is my analog clock face and this is my digital time readings. Any question up to there? Any problem? Who needs more clarification about the analog clock face and the digital clock face? So, I hope all of us are now ASPA. Depending on which question you've been asked, we'll be able to tackle any question. I want to wish you well and I hope I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye!